Hey guys, today we're going to be putting in a new product for borates. Uh, it's called DOT and what it is is a 7.8 pH and let's go take a look at it. Now with this stuff here, it's not going to go to the bottom and sit there like boric acid would. Boric acid, you're going to definitely have to brush it around and get that moving so it doesn't sit, especially on this black bottom pool right here. Um, with this DOT, the, the main reason behind this is we don't really have to brush this stuff. It's going to dissolve pretty much as soon as it hits the water. And we'll get this thing going here so you can see. So the, the whole point is, is trying not to brush because a lot of guys will just toss this stuff in the pool and just leave and they won't brush it around. And, uh, and that's not a good thing, especially for the black bottom pools. Got this black bottom pool right here. And if we put some boric acid in this pool and just let it sit there, it would be a disaster for this pool. So here's the new product right here, DOT. You can see how fine that is. Really, really fine. So that's going to pretty much dissolve as soon as it hits the water. Now let's check it out here. Let's take a, take a cup here. And put it in the water here. And you can see it pretty much dissolving right away. That's dissolving right away there. Let's see how it goes here. Yeah, you definitely want the pool to be running. You've got to circulate it. So, yeah, I see nothing. All I see is basically just had a little cloud going because it's dissolving. Yeah, there's nothing on the bottom. So, let's... Yeah, awesome stuff. Look at that. Nothing on the bottom. All right, so let's get this going. Okay, now like as you saw, the pool is going to cloud up a little bit until the stuff dissolves. Right now it's dissolved in. So what we're going to do is start putting this stuff in a little at a time. Now the stuff, since it is a 7.8 pH, it is a 7.8 pH. So again, if you, if you start out with a pool that has an 8.0 pH, you're gonna have to add about 32 ounces of acid to this. But if you have a pool that's on the lower side of your pH, you're not gonna have to add any acid at all. All you do is just keep broadcasting it. There's about 25 pounds here. And the way you figure this stuff out is basically it's half of what borax would be. So if borax calls for 60 pounds, this stuff would be about 30 pounds. Let's just move it around a little bit. Let's get our, our brush here. You shouldn't really have to move it around, but yeah, because I don't see anything down there. Yeah, I don't see anything down there. This is all, yeah.
since it's so fine, unlike boric acid, you notice it's kind of clouding up here a little bit because it's all into the pool. About an hour or so of circulation, it'll all be mixed in and you want to keep the pool running anyways after you add this stuff for a while. So what I'll probably end up doing is, uh, probably I'm just coming back and go hit another job or two jobs and then come back and check it out. And, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Right now, everything looks good. I don't see anything on the bottom. So it's totally dissolved in the pool. But now we just got to work it through the system and start to clear this up a little bit. So let's go take care of a couple pools here and then we'll head on back. Okay, so here we are about 30 minutes later. Uh, did another pool around the corner here, came back. And this pool looks really good. It's all cleared up and you can only tell <clears throat> the tight sparkle. Let's go check this pool out. Okay, let's check this pool out here. We've got a really nice sparkle in this pool right now. And this is only 30 minutes later, guys. And uh, this is the benefits of boys right here. The sparkle, the soft water, the stabilizing pH, the algostat. So you don't get algae, it will help, helps prevent algae, put it that way. You can still get algae if you uh, totally disregard your pool and don't have enough filtration, but um, let's just look at this pool. I mean, let it speak for itself. Yeah, how tight that sparkle is. And especially in these black bottom pools, you uh, got to be real careful. So I want to say it again. Did not get any on the bottom. It totally dissolved. Clouded up for about 20, 20 minutes or so. But hey, look at the pool now. I mean, you just can't. Look at that. That's awesome. Now you got a stabilized pH in there. I might have to add a little bit of acid. We're gonna check that out a little bit later. But you got a stabilized pH now, especially with the spa. The spa right here. So when they run that spa, the pH is gonna be a lot more stabilized. It's not gonna rise up so fast. It'll still come up, but it's not gonna rise up so fast. It's gonna take a little bit more time. Um, silky water, and this is only Look at that. This, oh man, unreal. Look at that. I mean, this is only 20 minutes later, guys. Just wait till this all gets in there and gets going. Look at how silky that looks already. So it just blows my mind. And uh, then I'll just stat. I'll just stat is not an I'll just side. I'll just side kills algae. I'll just stat prevents algae. Um, those are the two differences. Uh, you got sparkling water, you got silky water. Also, the conditioner the water conditions the water, conditions the plaster. And if you have a salt cell, it will condition the salt cell and make it uh, so you can do less cleans on the salt cell. It keeps them a lot cleaner. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's about it. DOT. Uh, I'm all for that product. So we got to get that stuff going. Again, let's just take a look at this. Yeah, this spool looks really good right now. Okay, now just a reminder, this stuff is 7.8 on the pH side. So if you have a pool that's already a 7.9, you're gonna have to add at least 30, about 32 to 40 ounces of acid in the pool afterwards to get it back down. But if you're starting out at a pool at around 7.3, 7.4, you don't need to worry about it. You're gonna bring it up to about maybe 7.7, somewhere in, in that area. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing is, it's a 7.8 and so, yeah, um, yeah, I'm just blown away by the way this looks. So anyways, later.